Hello everyone, welcome back to Jack Scraps and thank you for joining me for day two of our Crafty Birthday Countdown. I'm so excited that you're here to join me and we're going to be creating rosettes, even the little bitty bitty ones. I'm so excited to be doing those. They were a lot of fun to create, so let's get started. So here is a sampling of the rosettes that I created and I made many sizes and widths and um, it was a lot of fun. Some of them have decorative edges where there's holes punched in them and then others are just um, the paper. So these are four inch rosettes and they are a fourth of an inch thick. There are some three inch rosettes they are fourth of an inch as well. And then I created these two inch rosettes and they are a half an inch thick. So you could do some major layering with these. And then of course I have these and I think these are about, um, yeah, one and three fourths inch. I have some one inch and even smaller. And then I even created some of the mini rosettes and these are all half an inch in size. This has an eighth of an inch width. In addition to these, I also created some vellum rosettes and these were a little tricky. I actually um, put a hole in this one when I was trying to score it. So you have to be really careful when doing vellum, but I do like the look of them. And then I also tried my hand at an acetate a rosette. And this was also tricky because it was harder, of course, to score the acetate and fold it. So one of the important things to remember when you're creating a rosette it's almost like the pinwheels that we created yesterday. You double the size of the width of the paper that you're using to actually end up with the size of rosette that you will get in the end. So for example, if I take this piece of paper, it is one and three fourths inches across. You double that and it will be a three and a half inch rosette. So I couldn't create all of these rosettes without actually playing around and seeing what I could do with them. So let me show you some of the things that I created. One of the first things that I did was take a rosette and layered it on a crepe paper rosette along with some gold thread and some chipboard pieces and ephemera. This turned out really cute and you could easily add this to any packaging or card or other items that you're creating. Another one that I made was using like a one inch rosette and I did again some layering here with chipboard pieces and ephemera. This cute little birthday piece. Did some layering here, added one of those mini rosettes there on the top of the hat and a little bubble bead here at the end. Super cute. These are so fun to create with. And here is the last thing that I created. I was going to make this into a wand, but I didn't have the right kind of straw to add to it, so I'll just wait till I get a good one. But I love how this turned out. I um, layered it onto a four inch rosette. I added some lace ribbon here. This is a three eighths of an inch rosette and I used a doily punch to go around the side of it. And then I added a vellum rosette and um, I think this is a little bit bigger than one eighth of an inch. And then of course I did layering with some chipboard from the Simple Stories Let's Party collection. I did something a little different and layered between the rosettes. I'm not sure I've seen that before and you know I haven't seen a lot of these but so back here underneath the uh, ribbon I the lace I have the present I have a little girl on the next rosette and then on top of course the cow that says let's party to the cows come home I love this little image and I've been dying to use it and then of course I added some enamel dots from the collection and some gold thread so really happy with this. I can't wait to put it on a stick and add some ribbon and make it a wand. So now on to the tutorials. 
to create the rosette, I used some scrap um, decorative paper that I had. I cut out one by 12 strips. And now we're going to score at every fourth of an inch all the way down. Once we have all of our lines created, I selected a doily punch here, and I'm going to punch the paper. This gives it a nice decorative edge. And now our little paper will look like this, and next what we do is fan fold, making a valley and a mountain all the way down. And kind of pinch it along the way. For this next part, you're going to need a punch. I'm using a 3-4 inch um, EK Success punch. And I have these little scrap squares. I don't know where I got them, I, some project. And I'm going to punch out my circle from one of these and then this will hold it down when we add the hot glue. Now we're going to connect the two ends together. So I'm going to hook these onto each other. So I'm going to put glue on one end. Bring the other end over and hook those into one another. Make sure you have the right side facing up and turn it over. Bring all your edges together to where you end up creating like this small circle in the center. It doesn't have to be an exact circle. You're just pinching all of the pieces together. You're gonna take your hot glue and go around as well as in the circle. and then add the one that we punched out and put on top, push it down and hold. And there we have our small little rosette. It's so cute. <laughs> to create these little mini rosettes, what we need to do is select our decorative paper and the width will be three inches. It could be any length that you want because we're going to be cutting them after we score them to a fourth of an inch strips. So this one here is one and a fourth by three inches. Next, we'll put the paper in our scoreboard and we will score at every eighth of an inch. Next, we will take this into our cutter and cut out one fourth of an inch strips. And then we will start to make the folds. This is really tricky because it's so small so you just do it like we do the other rosettes all the way down okay when we get done it will look like that and next we will glue the two ends together now that we have the ends glued together we're going to try to work it to be the rosette shape like that because that will help it when we go to glue it. So what I've found is um, you can actually use the Dollar Tree silicone I don't even know what this is called but um, I put a little bit of glue on there I then took the rosette piece, put it around it, the glue, and then I pushed down like you normally would to gather all the sides together and I held it together. 
and then it actually comes right off. And you've made yourself a little mini rosette. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.